What's up everyone? In this video, we're gonna talk about something very important. A lot of people have been asking me, should I be pulling for child or Vanti? Let's take a look at this. So, child is Hydro. As you have been playing this game for a long time, Hydro, Pyro, and Cryo are one of the best elements you can use in the game. So, Hydro as a DPS, yes. And then there had been a lot of discussions about his constellations, but I would like to say that he is still great at C0. So it is totally fine if you don't have constellations, yes, you can still use him. However, he has something called a melee stance and a ranged stance. You would probably be using him most of the time in melee stance. If you happen to pull for him, you would notice that he's gonna have this cooldown. So let's say you have his melee stance for a while. Maybe 10 to 20 seconds, you do some DPS, you use ult, and then you would have 10 seconds cooldown for his melee stance. So what you would have to do is swap out to a different character and use them for a while and then come back to Tartalia. So even though he has that downtime, it is still pretty good. And for the artifacts, you might be wondering, what set should I use? Is full hydro set worth it? Well, to jump to the conclusion, I would like to say that full set hydro is really good. And then alternatively, you could go for two piece hydro, two piece noblesse, or two piece hydro, two piece gladiator set, or you can just mix them around. Two piece gladiator, two piece noblesse, it just works. As long as it helps you do more damage, you should go for them. And for the important constellations for him, I really don't like how his C6 kind of overlaps with his C1, but they all work together, so let's check it out. Decreases the cooldown of the melee stance downtime by 20%. So this plays a big role, but if you're not planning to go for C6, I would probably say that it doesn't really matter. So just ignore that. C2, it says when opponents affected by Riptide are defeated, Tartalia regenerates 4 elemental energy. So what are Riptides? Riptides are like a mark that you leave with your skills. Riptides can be applied to the opponents with ranged full charge attack. And when you're in melee stands, and if you do a crit hit, normal and charge attacks apply the Riptide status. So there's that. When they have the Riptide status and then they get defeated, then Child regenerates four elemental energy. So definitely he wouldn't need any energy charge for his build. C4, if Tartalia is in melee stance, it triggers Riptide Slash against opponents on the field affected by Riptide every 4 seconds. So, what is Riptide Slash? It just means that you do extra Hydro damage. And C6 is the killer that makes his playstyle a little bit different. If you're in melee stance and then you use Q, then you get that melee stance downtime to zero. So, it doesn't matter where you are at, this is what you can do. It pretty much means like this, you're in melee stance, you attack, and then you use Q. Switch to a different character, come back, and you can still use E right after. So this would allow him to be a greedy DPS. Because he has a very high DPS output, this would actually make a very good constellation. However, I just cannot support the idea that you use only one character to kill everything. Even though Genshin Impact is not hard enough for you to, you know, just clear things with one or two characters, just using one character without using any of those elemental reactions, I think it's not that great. That's why I kind of lost my interest in Child after using him for a long time. It was great, but it wasn't really fun for me. The best in slot weapon for Child is Skyward Harp. If you are wondering, there is a video that I made before. I did some kind of a comparison video between Skyward Harp, Stringless, and some other like Rust. But I concluded that Skyward Harp is the best in slot weapon for Child. So there's that. But what else can you use? As an F2P, you can hope to get Rust. Rust also works. Stringless also works if you want to maximize his burst damage by his Q. And Rust would help you do more damage in your melee stance. If else, you can probably use the Battle Pass weapon and it still works great. So we have gone through his weapons, artifacts, constellation, and talents. But how about his performance? Do you think... I can help you decide that you should be going for Child, even if you have all those other characters. For smaller spenders, you have to know how strong he is in order for you to decide if you should be going for Child or not. 
So this is his stats for me. 2200 attack. I have 42 elemental mastery because I decided that I wouldn't be using a lot of the elemental reactions with child. But if I would like to create any reactions, I would probably have to go for higher elemental mastery, but that's not the case. 73% critical rate because of Skyward Harp and 162% critical damage. If I didn't have a R5 Skyward Harp, this critical damage would have been 142% at R1. So even at 140% critical damage, this is pretty good. So let's go ahead and find out if it's really good. Uh, one thing I can do is I can take you to a flame dungeon and see how fast he is at killing those monsters. And also we can talk about the team you can make around Tartalia. It's easy, right? You use Pyro Resonance. That includes Bennett usually. And then any random Pyro DPS or I don't know. Any support that would be nice. So there would be Tartalia. And you can also use Sing Chu. Sing Chu is the best support for Pyro DPSs. But also, if you by any chance have C2 Sing Chu, you could also use Sing Chu for Child because it reduces Hydro Res of the opponents. Let's go ahead and find out about his performance with full set of Hydro. Here we go. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna use Sing Chu Q and then uh, try to see the damage with Child. Okay. That is quite fast, I would say. And then because I have my child at C6, let me use this. And then switch to a different character. Come back. And I can use E again. So this is the good thing about having C6 Tartalia. It allows you to use him whenever you want. But, to be honest, I wouldn't say it was worth it for me. Okay. And this is his charge shots. Like, you can literally see that melee stance is so much better than using ranged stance. It's nice to have a hybrid character where you can use them for, like, especially when you're going against those ring guards or ring hunters. You can attack their weak points and then disable them for a bit. So, I would like to say that if you do not have any dedicated DPS, I would say Child is a very good choice. Let's move on to Venti. This might make people mauled. So, okay, disclaimer. Whatever I say, from now on, make people mauled. Because I'm not so sure about you guys. But for me, when I get to know about the games, I kind of stop watching all those informational YouTube videos. That is why I think some of you guys will be like, Yo, is that true? Because, let me tell you. Eloto Mastery build for Banty is not good, in my opinion. And here's my reason. If you take a look at his talent levels and their multipliers, you would probably understand why. But Skyward Sonnet, which is, is E, you know, you always use like hold E and then, you know, you go into this wind current and then you move somewhere, right? Press damage, 469% and press cooldown is 6 seconds. Hold damage, 646%, cooldown, 15 seconds. Usually use press damage, but this is pretty high. 469% every 6 seconds. And then let's move on to his Q. DOT, 64%. And additional elemental damage, 32%. Duration, 8 seconds. Cooldown, 15 seconds. Energy cost, 60. You still don't know what's going on? Maybe it'll be better for you to see how he does in a dungeon. So let me try to do this. If you were to ask me, should you be pulling for Venti? Let me tell you this. If you have good DPS, then Venti would be a very nice choice. But as a person to have all those characters built, I kind of stopped using Venti and he's not necessary. However, I would like to say he is one of a kind character that cannot be replaced and he would help you clear Sparrowbiss so much faster. And here's the reason. Venti does not need any constellations. And Venti, with 4 piece rare decent sets, 4 star plus 0, he would still help you do so much better. Let's move on to this weapon. His best in slot weapon is, again, Skyward Heart for DPS. 
I told you guys that multiplier for his skills are really high, right? So because of that, I would like to recommend Skyward Harp for Venti. And then again, if you don't have Skyward Harp, you can also use Battle Pass Bow. And there's going to be a new bow coming out during the new banners. So think about pulling for those if you get lucky enough. But if you can't get Skyward Harp, you can use the Stringless because it helps you do more damage for your E and Q. At R5, you get 48% damage bonus, which is pretty huge. And then if anything, you can also use... Favonius War Bow, or Sacrificial Bow, or Battle Pass Bow if you need some damage. So, for artifacts, you can use 4 piece very decent. You can also mix it up with Gladiator Sit. So, right now, Venti has 23 32 attack, 68% critical rate, 160% critical damage, and I accidentally had those Elemental Masteries here and there, so I have 44. But you won't understand what I'm talking about once I take him to dungeons and show you how it goes. I would like to go to a dungeon where they have a lot of monsters and that would be made beloved set dungeon. To make him look great, let me see what I can use. And for the team comp around Venti, you can literally use anything. I've seen people trying to have another animal character for your Xiao. And I've been telling people that Xiao and Venti does not work really well together. But I found out a way to use them both. And it was pretty great. So let me try to use Xiao and Venti. You can feel free to have uh, Pyro Resonance or you can have the Mother Elements. Just in case you need to deal with some shields in the future. So here we go. Okay. Almost 3k damage. Here's my E. That's 21k. Okay. Okay. And I got my ult back. Use E again. And that's how I would be using Xiao together with Venti. So I would do a little jump and then spam E. This is Venti. Alright. Should I do something else? Do you think I can do like a like a one DPS window challenge with Venti only? Her constellation reduces the animal res by 40%. So this might help. For the artifacts, I don't need anything. And then, because this is so absurd, I would have to use Zongli as well because Zongli's shield also reduces animal race. So I would like to borrow all of their strength to make Venti great again. So let me use Zongli. How about Bennett? Okay, here we go. Alright, here we go. Bennett. Gene. my Q. Where is... Okay, that was pretty disappointing because I thought it would target the Valin. But this dungeon is so absurd, I need to go to somewhere else. Alright, let me use some food because I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. So, uh, um, let me go by... Grab this. And then Animal Potion. Here we go. I wonder when they're gonna do a Zhongli rerun. Because that'll be really nice. I think instead of Venti, for the meta, Zhongli is a little better. Like either way, Venti and Zhongli, they're both great characters, but... A lot of people want Zhongli more. Here we go. It's not working. Anyways, but you have seen that damage with Venti C, right? So it already shows that he has a really high damage potential. That's why you wouldn't want to build him with 400 elemental masteries. Okay, I hope this video helps you decide whether if you should be going for Venti or Child. I would like to say that both are great characters. But if I had to choose one, I would like to say Venti. <laughs> Just because Venti doesn't really need any constellations and then he doesn't even need artifacts. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.